South Florida students got to have a conversation today that was literally out of this world. Oh, no doubt about it. They were allowed to speak with astronauts on board the International Space Station. And as Madeline Wright shows us, some kids were left with stars in their eyes. Hello, Mandel Stan School. This is the International Space Station. Welcome. I can talk to you upside down if I want to. The crowd erupted into cheers Friday morning when they made contact with space. I'm really excited for it because that because I want to be an astronaut when I grow up. Third grader Felix Dulce is one of 80 or so students at the Mandelstam School who got to meet an astronaut through Skype. Dr. Serena Aunion Chancellor lives and works 240 miles above the Earth's surface. Um, we've had bumblebees up here, we've had spiders up here. She happens to be cousins with Magdalena Maury, who works at the school. She's the first Cuban American um, astronaut and, and she's only the second Hispanic female astronaut in NASA history. So we are really excited and proud. Students lined up in the gym to ask all their eager questions. You know, how do you move and what does it feel like to be in space? But we were amazed at how you know, deep the questions were. Ahead of their chat with the International Space Station, the kids, with the help of parents and teachers, decorated this entire computer lab to look like the inside of a spaceship. It even comes complete with vertical sleeping quarters and a shower. The private school, which goes from pre-K through fifth grade, spent months on its application to do this and is one of the few schools chosen for this honor one that leaves Felix Dulce inspired. What do you think life is like up there on the International Space Station? Hard not being able to see, like to be trapped inside one tiny place. But also really fun because you get to float around. A unique educational experience that will no doubt leave a lasting impression on these kids for years. In South Miami, Madeline Wright, Local 10 News.